Stan Mallow, the host of Paranormal, is here in St. Catharines hosting the 20th annual Psychic Fair. I have the opportunity to ask Stan a few questions on what makes this fair so successful. One, we put on a good show, that's for sure. What keeps people coming back to a restaurant, good food, good wait staff, etc. We have the top of the line psychics, exhibitors, great free lectures, and hopefully we give the public what they want, they appreciate it, and they come back again. Wonderful, and how has the overall industry changed? Okay, well, interesting. Obviously, people are more, are more open to the fact that sometimes things do go bump in the night, but what has changed is, say, 20 years ago when we started, maybe 90% of the people who came were female. Now, a very high percentage of males are also coming. That's opening up. That's coming up, too. Also, something else that has changed 20 years ago, you'd have a lot of parents asking about their kids, and you have kids asking about their parents. So it turned around 20 years ago. People were asking questions, say, uh, about getting a, a promotion where they are, um, you know, buying a house. Now it's not, will I get a promotion? Am I going to keep my job? Am I going to keep my house? So it reflects what's going on all around us. Now, I can't come to a psychic fair without speaking to a few psychics, so let's go talk to some and see what's in store for me and my future. So how'd you get into this whole tarot card reading? Well, uh, first of all, my mother used to read the tea leaves and uh, the regular cards, not, not the, uh, the tarot cards, but the regular cards. And uh, it was always a part of the family. And when I was 14 years old, she gave me my, my first deck of tarot cards, and I've been re uh, reading them ever since. And you see the stick, it's growing new buds. So that's a, it's a card that indicates a, a rebirth, a new birth. And that indicates that you have the talent to be an actress. You are very artistically inclined. So if you're in this, the, the, the television business, you're in the right field. And uh, for you, I only see one marriage, but it will be a very happy one. But you, you will have many admirers, but only one will have your heart. Aww. And that's there. Yay. So can you tell me a little bit about what exactly an aura photo is? Yes, an aura photo is a, the, the capture of an electromagnetic field that every living being has around them, whether it's a plant, an animal, or a human being. We send a very uh, weak electrical current in you. It's a very even current. It absorbs your vibration, heartbeat, brain wave, pulse. And uh, when your body rejects the signal through the, uh, your five fingers, we analyze the speed of the vibration. It's called hertz. The faster the vibration, the redder the color, the slower the vibration, the whiter the color, and every color of the rainbow appears. Uh, if you have multiple vibration in your body, then we, we capture multiple color which then appear around you and then we describe your personality, career, relationship, all kinds of stuff about you based on the colors that appears in your aura photos. So my photos have been developed, can you tell me what all these colors mean? Yes. First of all, you're multicolored. Multicolored people tend to be multi-talented. They have one problem. They tend to do too much. They have to learn to weed out some of the stuff they do to concentrate in what is more important for them. Your main color is orange. Orange is the color of the thinker, full of idea, creativity, often talented. You have a, a purple on your uh, right and lavender around your head. You're very spiritual, you have a connection to the other side. You have two large orb or spirit appearing in your aura. You also have red on your on your right. Red people don't like to lose. When they play, they play to win. They don't like when people are in their, on their way. So I hope I'm not in your way. And if I am, please let me know. I'll, I'll gladly let you pass. Travel, yes, you're, you'll do a lot of it in your time because you like going here, there, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you will, you'll do more traveling later on. You're gonna make, you're gonna make decisions about your work and what you want to do, and you'll make several changes there. But I feel you're going to look at, it's kind of a glamorous part that you're looking at, okay? And it's going to take place. All you have to do is have the faith in yourself, and you're going to accomplish that. So I'm with Bianca. Yes. Okay. Um, and we need to know if the path she's on is the right path. Now, is she on exactly the right branch? Hmm. So there may still be some uh, tweaks in the um, career path that she's taken. But is she on the wrong path? Absolutely not. Oh, that's okay. comforting. 
Thanks to Stan and all the participants of the event for having us down. Don't forget that you can check out Paranormal Stan's show every first and third Wednesday of the month at 7 o'clock on Kojiko. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bianca Tamori.